Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias and this is the third tutorial in the Airwave API tutorial. And for now, I think this will be the last one or we should have any additional questions or comments uh, on our channel, then we will make sure we, uh, we will have a follow-up session on this one. So let's do a quick recap. In the first one, we were finding out how we can connect with Python. Uh, and how we can connect with curl in order to retrieve some information from the uh, from the uh, API so to do a logon and how to retrieve information in the second uh, tutorial we have a little bit of a closer look how we could use postman which is an extension on google chrome and in this third tutorial uh, i wrote a tiny script that is able to post some information to the APIs in order so to change some information and we're going to do this with Postman and with a script so let me first log on to my Airwave server running here so let's log on um, and for now I'm going to repeat this as I mentioned in every single tutorial on the home page you can go to documentation you get to this Sorry, let me log on again here because you get to this page and on this page you can see all the information regarding the API. Uh, for this, we're going to focus on the uh, modified template variables. So this is a way how you can do zero touch deployment. There is another video on this channel that explains how you can do that. But this way is we're going to change variables in these templates by the API. So you can see some more information here. But let's go back here is so we have one device and that's here. Oh, sorry, log on again. And let's put the device, let's go to the management of the device. And the variable we're going to change is this one, AP include 9. So let me give you an example. We're first going to do it with a Python script. Here is a tiny script I created. I will post it on the uh, HPN uh, scripting GitHub, but uh, more or less I created a couple of functions in order to do the logon. And if everything is correct, you will see some uh, very familiar information like the URL, uh, like the, the data login, only here is a variable that I'm going to provide with the script. Um, here is my function to change the template to a specific variable, my ID, uh, is device 31 of course you can make this searchable whatever you want to do with it this script is meant as educational in order to provide you an example how you can do things in an automated fashion of course it can always be better I didn't do even any fault detection whatever it's just an example for educational purposes and how to change something with a Python script against the Airwave API we're going to give some um, uh, some arguments the uh, this will be the text that's going to change the variable, the username, the pass, and if it uh, enable debugging. And here you can see the further of the script. So let's kick off the script by um, by this command. And as you can see, we need to provide some uh, arguments here. Let me do it like this. So we need to provide the A argument. So let me. Um, This is for my good friend Fabien. Uh, let me provide a username that's admin. The password is also admin. And let me turn on debugging so that we can get some additional debug information. And as you can see, the request is being made. Uh, and here, this is a successful uh, turn back coming from the uh, from the Airwave API that it it uh, it changed it changed this. You can see here that it changed this and it needs a config push because in order to uh, change this on the switch, it needs to change it uh, with, a, with a configuration push, right? So if we do a refresh here, you can see that Fabian 4 is a lot uh, parameter has changed on this switch. So this way we can do it by, uh, by a Python script. And of course we can make that as, complica as complicated as we want or you can integrate it with your own orchestration software, for example, um, and use these variables inside a script to call to the Airwave API. So this way you can do really DevOps, NetOps kind of environment. So that's one. 
way how you can do it. The other way you can do it is Postman. As promised, I said I'm going to do both. So the first thing, we're going to call the logon uh, script again, or the, the logon call we created. So, because important for us is to get the X biscotti, because that's what we need to use in order to change or to post something. Let me change the template variable, and we're going to change it to ABCN rocks. And we need to put the new X biscotti in here. That's what we just received from the logon. I copy paste that in here. And the body is exactly the same. The only thing is we change it to ABC, ABC networking rocks. So let me send it here. This is the uh, information we retrieve. As you can see, config is push since it is a managed node. Uh, and we see you can see that this information is changed. So let's have a look in Airwave. And you can see we changed the variable again. So this way, um, I showed you how you can connect to the API uh, with multiple tools, curl, scripting, uh, Python, of course, and um, Postman. And in this last tutorial, I showed you how you can post information in order to change, really, something on the API. I hope you find it useful. If you have any additional information or you want me to create a fourth tutorial, Leave a thumbs up or leave comments in there so that I can uh, create uh, something very customized for you. Otherwise, I hope you find these, uh, these tutorials useful and hope to see you in, uh, in another video. Thank you very much.